guys. Good morning. Sorry I haven't made a video in a few days. Um, I've had a lot on my mind. And uh, basically, I found out that my best friend's mom, who I consider my second mom, I've known for 20 years since I was in seventh grade. And um, I love her very much. And I found out that she has breast cancer. So I've um, been having, you know, a very bad week. And um, what makes it even harder is that she doesn't believe in natural healing. And I've sent her information and she's not interested in hearing it. And that makes it really hard for me to deal with. It makes it harder for me to deal with because um, she's going to start radiation in September. And I'm just, I'm not sure how to deal with it. I mean, she doesn't live here. She lives in California. So it makes it a little bit easier to not have to see her physically go through that myself. But just knowing that she's going to be going through that um, is really tough. And um, so that's what I've been going through. And I've been stress eating and... Um, and binging out on high fat foods, which, you know, numbs the pain, kind of makes you go back into your mental fog and hide. So that's what I was doing to myself. And it's time to get over it, get back on track, and stop wallowing in my misery. So I made a banana strawberry smoothie this morning, um, taking the bigger one with me to work. I don't have any greens. I'm all out of greens except for Italian parsley, which I haven't used yet. I'm gonna probably make a raw soup for dinner tonight and use some of that. And I've also been feeling like I need to declutter, you know, and clear my mind and everything. So I've been, me and my husband did a big cleaning day on Friday and I finally, after three years, almost three years, <laughs> finally cleaned off my shelf over here and took off the bubble wrap that was on there from when we moved here. <laughs> so now I have glass shelves not covered in dusty bubble wrap and cleaned out my pantry here. So now it's, I dusted it and threw away some stuff that I never use anyway and my kitchen is clean and it looks nice and I feel much better. And uh, actually, most of the house is clean. The bedroom, the bathrooms, the kitchen, the living room. So the only thing left I really need to do is go through my cupboards and my drawers and get rid of like Tupperware that has no lids and things like that. And I don't know, it feels better. Like me and my husband both feel like, I don't know what the word is, but we just both feel better knowing that the house is clean and that I don't know, it really makes a difference on your mental state that your house is clean and organized and it just feels nice to come home and you don't come home and feel stressed out because everything's a mess. So it's nice. But anyway, so I'm going to go to work here in a little bit and I'm going to have salad at lunch at work and then tonight I'll make raw soup because I do have tomatoes and, and uh, parsley and things left over and onion that I can use and carrots to make raw soup tonight. So. That's what I'm going to make, and I hope everyone has a good day. And if anybody else knows someone, um, you know, almost everyone in America, I think, knows someone who has cancer, or I knew that my time would come because I, I haven't known anyone personally, like, close to me that has had cancer, but I knew eventually it would happen because so many people in America, in the world, have cancer these days because of our standard American diets, most people's standard American diets. So if you've never checked out the website, chrisbeatcancer.com, um, check it out. There's a bunch of testimonials on there. Chris himself uh, cured himself of, I think it was colon cancer, um, stage four. He had it cut out, but then he realized diet was the answer, and he's been cancer-free for 10 years after changing to a mostly raw food diet. And there's tons of other testimonials on there, breast cancer and other things. So if you know someone who is actually has an open mind and willing to listen, um, you should share that website with them if you don't already know about it. And um, 
yeah, it's a good resource for people who um, who want to learn about um, why radiation is bad and what it's going to do to your body and how it's going to kill everything in you. And then you might live for extra five years, but you're probably going to die after that anyway. So if you don't change your lifestyle and your diet. So anyway, that's it for today. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. And time to get back on track. Let's do this. Bye. And I'm not a doctor, that's just my opinion, so please consult your physician before making any dietary changes, especially if you have cancer. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks so much.